computer audio participants. Your pops. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Ready to play? <clears throat> All right. Continuing. All right, here we go. This is happening. 8 a.m. Hitting my video. There's John Short. The old guard is here. So we are ready. And here is the awesome Patricia Lakatos. Okay. Hitting, turning that on. And now we got Instagram. And we're in good shape. Okay. Okay, guys. Saturday morning, 8 o'clock. It's a leisurely 8 o'clock. So let's, uh, let's get going. So. Let's start with this guy. Take the hands, interlace the fingers, thumbs, the um, index fingers point up, bring the feet together on this one. Take a breath out, or breath in. As you breathe out, just gently bend to one side, right? And then breathe in, gently bend to the other. So let's not make it too aggressive from the beginning. Breathe in as you come up, breathe out as you go down. Feet in, and out. In and now, do not hold the breath, let it keep flowing, regardless of this the place where you are. And you get a little bit farther, make sure it's a pure bend to one side, do not rotate. So, you might just be able to go just a few degrees to the left and right, and that's totally fine. Just make sure that it's pure, right? Don't rotate. All right, that's good on that. Nice job. Continue with this. Just take the hips in a nice, easy circle. Ah, loosening things up there. Whether you've been particularly active or whether you've been a little inactive, either way, you can kind of say hello to the joints here. Ah, just check in, feel how they're doing. Feel the joints working in their sockets. Now go ahead and take one foot, bring it forward, and we'll get into a partial lunge here. There we go, so we're here. Front stance in karate. Go ahead and circle the hips here. The back leg is locked out nicely. So now we feel the back hip circling in this socket here. Go the other direction. So we think this is a hip exercise, but as much, really it's, a, it's, it's talking about the, or it's, it's helping to address this joint right here, circle, go the other direction, nice, all right, good, sticking with the ankle theme, go ahead and uh, tip the feet inside and out, that's good, that's good, and then go ahead and circle, it's a classic one right here, press them down, Reverse directions. Good, go to the other side, circle that. Okay. Mosquitoes there. Go the other direction on that one. Okay, good. Lateral step, and let's take it into right here, pull the heel, but take a slightly wider lateral step than we sometimes do. So we're going frontal plane here. Go. Everyone's got the hamstrings turning on here. That's important. We're shortening at both ends of the hamstring, the top up near the glute, and the bottom now down near the knee. So if you get hamstring cramps when you do this kind of thing, it's because your hamstrings aren't used to contracting at both ends. Okay, let's take it into an external rotation. And that's just something you need to kind of practice and play with you get better at it. You have clients who have, uh, whenever they kick the legs back behind them, they get a cramp in the hamstring. The hamstring's confused. Pull each time. Practice the upright posture. The chest is up, the shoulders are down. Nice external rotation. 
Good, okay. Now let's take it into this version of the stiff leg deadlift we were working on yesterday. One hand reaches toward the supporting leg, the opposite leg swings back, toe toward the ground. So it's like this. So as opposed to the movement where we have the arms forward, now we're reaching down. Just a little bit of a variation. Pay attention to what that back leg does. Make sure it's like an extension of your spine. We're gonna lift that leg high in the air. What people tend to do is they tend to not lift it high enough. Lift it high. And if you can't reach the ground, it's okay. Reach your knee, reach your shin, reach your mid thigh. It does not matter. The important thing is that this leg in the back stays in an extension of the spine. Okay, a couple more. There we go. Nice job. <coughs> good, good. So that's the, got the lower body. Let's go ahead and rotate the shoulders going back. Hello, Instagram. Good to see you. Circle again, shoulders going back. Feel those ribs articulating. Let's go the other direction with that shoulder circle. go there we go there we go good let's get those big circles going back with the arms oh. there's our giant crowd today we got, we got the old guard Hi, rose robbins joining live someday we'll get back to live boot camp this is our our usual live day remember those days Let's go the other direction, go forward. Back in the day when we all used to assemble in this yard. And everyone would joke and laugh. And now, we're just by ourselves. But we're doing what we can, which is good. All right, golf grip, squeeze the shoulder blades, go forward, circle it. Breathe as you work, make sure you don't overarch. We'll take it into this thing, right? We want to keep the pelvis right underneath. Knees slightly soft. Let's go backward. The hitchhiking version. Keep the arms behind the plane of the body. Do not chicken the head forward. There we go. Nice, good. Go ahead and drop that. Let's just take the head left and right. Ah. Now we're pretty warm, so this should be a little bit easier. Maybe make a little more sense. This frontal plane action. Good, all right, let's take it forward and back. Oh, as you go back, go ahead and rotate those arms out a little bit. There we go. Get this global extension movement. A couple more. And go ahead and swing it around. Again, the spine should be a little looser now. Everything should, everything should be a little uh, more smooth, coordinated. And let's reverse directions. Shoulders are dropped. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, so let's go down to a mat real quick. A couple little uh, glute movements and a couple little, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do core and then we'll move into our uh, more standing, more dynamic stuff. So here we are, don't need dumbbells for this. Taking it into our nice quadruped position. So hands are right underneath shoulders, knees right underneath hips. Let's begin with a, with a cat cow. So round it up and breathe in right here. And then extend. Do that. Do that. Take your time. You can move the whole spine. And then see if you can go segmented. You know, this is one we've worked on for a while. So see if you can segment it. And by that I mean start at the at the uh, tailbone in, in both movements, and move from the tailbone and let that let that uh, action undulate up your spine. So instead of having the whole spine work at once, you 
work one vertebra at a time, and then that wave travels up through the spine, and your head is the last thing to move. So if I'm tucking, I'm tucking the pelvis, and I go a little into my low back, then mid back, upper back, neck, head. And when I go the other way, I go sacrum, lower back, mid back, upper back, neck, head. So it's the same in both directions. It starts with the pelvis, but we're working segmented, right? Now you might not have a huge range of motion here. It doesn't matter. Go slow enough so you can feel this movement traveling up through the spine. All right, good. Let's go inside legs, so the leg face of the camera. Kick it back, toes toward the ground, then swing it out to the side, keeping the knee high, bring it to the chest. The famous get on the horse. Okay, let's reverse directions. Bring that knee to the chest, take it around. One, two, three. Take your time with this. This portion right here gets a little sticky for people and the legs to the side. So take your time and make sure you're doing it precisely. Switch to the other side. I don't really care how many reps you get. Let's just make them all look pretty. Other side, kick back, then to the side. Back, side, three, side, back, side, last one. Side, other direction, chest, bring it out, extend the leg about 45 degree angle. That helps. If you go here, extend. Two, three. Does help to get that. All right, I'm getting off that big horse. Four, five. All right, good. Let's take it into a plank, okay? So we're gonna go elbows down on the ground, forearms parallel, hands down, okay? Take your feet, walk them back, nice and strong. Tuck the pelvis underneath. This is why we're working cat-cow, right? To get that rounded up feel. Then draw the elbows in towards your feet, your feet towards your elbows, and hold that for another 15 seconds. So we got the back of that rounded up position. <coughs> we got the elbows drawing down isometrically, meaning no movement, but we got a lot of fire in that stomach drawing down. All right, keep going about another five seconds. And we switch it up to other things. Three, two, stop. Good job. Okay, come into a side plank position. From side plank, elbow here is right underneath the shoulder. Elbow under shoulder. Okay, I'm, it's like I'm sitting in a chair here, 90 degrees here, 90 degrees there. All right, people get so confused about this movement. I'm going to try to explain it in a clear way, but uh, if you're lost, you're probably not alone. <laughs> So here's what we're doing. This bottom leg, this bottom leg, this shin and this knee and this ankle stay on the ground the whole time, okay? So I'm not gonna do this at any point, all right? So here's what I want. I want top knee to come away from the bottom knee. That's step one, okay? So this is a clamp, okay? After that, what I want you to do is take the pelvis, drive it forward and up, all right? So now, yes, so now I'm on this bottom leg and elbow, right? Now we're gonna undo that, we're gonna sit back, top knee goes to bottom knee, let's repeat that. Top knee comes up, drive it forward and up. Sit and repeat, sit and repeat. Once again, this lower leg stays on the ground the whole time. You're doing great, there you go, good, good. Just, just a few more here. The target tissue here, the target tissue, target area is the glute of the supporting leg. Okay, couple more, last one. Great, switch to the other side, same idea, here we go. 90 degrees at the hips, 90 degrees at the knees, right? Take top knee, lift it up, drive hips forward and lift off the ground. Sit back and come together, open up like that clamshell. Down and up, down and up. Let's keep going, down and up. One of the best, Direct glute moves I know, especially that doesn't require any weights, just body weight. Get a couple more, keep going five more seconds. I know this is tough. There we go, good. And you can combine the two movements. So hips go up and top knee goes up, same time. Three, two, one, stop, good. Okay, let's come to the back. Let's come to the back, all right? Now, 
Feeling strong, my friend? Grab a dumbbell, okay? Hold dumbbell by ends. Not feeling so strong, no need for a dumbbell, okay? So you make the call. Let's take our dumbbell here if you've got it. If you don't, just put the arms in that same position, okay? Draw one knee to the chest, and then switch to the other side. This is our classic piston legs, all right? The head is floating off the ground. Now, I can lower my head if my neck is starting to die, okay? That's cool. I just want to make sure that that lower back stays on the ground. That flexion throughout the whole spine, you can help that by lifting the head, but if it's too much, don't worry about it. Let's keep going 10 more seconds. We're going to switch it up and we're going to go back to glutes, all right? We're starting with our central, whole central area, the glutes and the core. Good. Five more seconds. Keep going. Extend that leg hard. Knee close to center line. Stop. Good work. Okay. Let's go back to our famous clamshell lift. Okay. So come back to the first side that you worked on. Look at that 90 degrees. Make sure 90 degrees. Knees stacked. And let's go. Here we go. Drive it up and down. Drive it up and down. Drive it up. There we go. Keep going. Push hard. Come on. Again, one of the most direct glute moves I know. It's tough, but all you're doing is body weight, you know? It's one of the greatest things. If you want, if you're feeling really tough, you can get a band and circle it around your knees. That makes it even tougher. Let's keep going about seven more seconds on this, this side. Three. Come on. Stop. Good job. Let's go to the other side. Same idea. Get your 99 feet stacked. Feet are at 92. Okay. Here we go. 30 seconds. Let's drive it. Go. Second side on this is going to be harder because we've already kind of worked that glute by lifting the top knee, right? So now it's the bottom leg. So what that means is if on the second side you're like, oh my gosh, I'm dying 10 seconds in, that's okay. You can take a little pause if you need it and then resume. All right. You got about eight seconds to go. Let's drive it. Come on. Come on. Keep those glutes alive, friend. Keep glutes alive. Time. Good job. All right. Cool. Let's go back to a uh, line position on your back. Okay. And let's get our open the books. All right. If you want, you can do dumbbell on this. I'm not going to do it. Uh, but you can if you want. So lower it down. Hands go down. Bring it up. Lower it down. Hands go down. Bring it up. Now, keep working. If you want to make this harder, right? You're glutton for punishment. Go down, and then the book just closes a little bit. Then we go down, close a little bit, okay? You work it with your range. And of course, as I've said before, if you want to make this easier, just bend your knees 90 degrees. Keep them at 90 the whole time, and you'll be, it'll be easier. Good, let's keep going. Keep it strong. Everyone's looking good. About 10 more seconds, all right? Yes, this is very good. There's five seconds, four, three, two, stop. All right, good. Last little gluteal move here. So we're all fours one more time. I don't know why I call this the flash dance. I just got a flash dance t-shirt. <laughs> flash dance, I feel like there's a poster of Jennifer Beals doing something like this. Bring the leg out, nine, uh, 45 degrees. So here's 90, straight to the side. Here's straight back, I'm gonna go right between those, okay? We're just gonna take this leg and we're gonna pump it up and down, okay? Right along, parallel with the fibers of the glute, okay? If we're out to the side, but we're straight back, we're not quite getting the work that we want, okay? So keep that 45 degree angle, lift that leg as high as you can. Make sure the opposite arm doesn't bend, okay? We wanna be working from that hip joint, just so I can get on the horse and get off the horse. So keep going five more seconds on this. Keep working it. Three, two, one, good. Switch to the other side. Find that 45 degree angle. There it is. Okay. Here we go. Let's let's do it. Ready? Go. Up and down. Keep the foot flexed. Always good to flex the foot. Why is that? The calves get short over time. They shorten just like your pecs get shortened over time. Just like your hip flexors get shortened over time. The calves tend to get short. Don't worry. I got you. I got you on time. And so when you flex the foot, you're practicing dorsiflexion, which is something we lose over time. Good, let's keep going. Three, two, one, done. Good, last ab move. Here we go. All right, so this is, this is hard, but I'm gonna give you a couple different variations. This is hollow hold 
with a little bit of movement. So a hollow hold, just to review. We got our lower back pressed to the ground, always, almost always, I should say. Hands in this same position we've been working on, right? Bring the legs up to 90. Now lower them down until you find that point where either it's as far as you can go or the lower back starts to peel off the ground. Find that point for yourself. Then what I want you to do is just oscillate right around that point, a little bit up and a little bit down without keeping, without bringing your lower, lower back off the ground. Now, some people will be here, right? Some people, you can bend your legs and make it easy, all right? Some people be way down here close to the ground and still able to keep the lower back on the ground. You make the call, right? Always your discretion. Let's keep going. 15 more seconds to go. Stay strong with us. Five seconds. Good job. Three, two, one. Done. Well done. Good. Bounce on up. Grab yourself a drink of water or just take a deep breath and we'll move on to other things. Hi, folks. Suzette's here. I hope you're working hard. All right. <coughs> How are we doing? We're about halfway through, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty good. A lot of careful work around the core and the glutes, okay? Key, key, key areas, all right? If you're just working a couple muscle groups, I would say those might be about your best bet here. Okay, so let's grab one dumbbell, one single dumbbell. We're going to work with, now that we've been on our backs and on our fronts a little bit, we're going to work pretty dynamically here, okay? So this is our superhero uh, lunge to overhead snatch. So how's, here's how it looks. We want to be a kind of widish stance. Dumbbell, let's go right hand. Let's do everyone do right hand. Now that's confusing, of course, because I look like I've got it on my left hand, but you know what I'm doing. So let's get everyone right hand. Drop right knee to the ground, and the dumbbell goes close to the ground as well. Now on one powerful superheroic move, you're going to draw that dumbbell up overhead, and you're going to explode, okay? They're going to repeat that. Lower it down here, then here, then explode up. That's it. Good. Down here. Punch the ground like a superhero and then pop it up. There's our move, okay? Stick into that side. Rotate and pull, beautiful. We want a nice explosive superheroic move. We don't want something that's too slow, okay? Now, say you got back problems. Say you're a little tweaky through the back. Then we wanna really be careful of staying pretty upright with that back. We can bend forward, just make it long. Make the, keep the back long, okay? If you found yourself rounding over and did this movement not feeling or looking athletic, slow it down and make the movement a little smaller, okay? Let's keep going five seconds, then we switch sides. All right, three, two, one, done, good. Now, dumbbell on left hand. Slightly wider than shoulder width stance. Now it's the left, um, left knee that go down, goes down toward the floor. Here we go, take it down. Push off that right foot and explode. Carefully down, push off the right foot and explode. All right, let's keep going. This is upper body and lower, lower body together. It's a tough, tough move, okay? It's hard to organize, it's hard to execute well, and uh, you gotta keep your mind in your muscles, right? But we got our whole core fired up now, so everything should be supporting things well, okay? Let's keep going, we're almost there. Five seconds to go. Keep it explosive as you come up. Three, two, one, time, good job. Okay, let's get our dumbbells, two dumbbells now. Two dumbbells. And let's work with this hybrid move, okay? We got our RDL into a uh, row, all right? I'm gonna show you from the side. We worked on this before, but it's, it's important just to go over the, the finer, finer points. Unlock your knees, okay? Take your butt, drive it back, all right? Keep the dumbbells close to your thighs. Bring them down as far as you can, then you feel a deep stretch in the hamstrings. Hold it right there. Draw the dumbbells up into a row, then extend, and then stand, okay? It's four distinct movements, okay? Fold, stretch the hamstrings, pull, release, and stand. You got that, right? Down, pull, release, stand. Four distinct movements, pull, right there, Release and stand. This point is the most crucial, the lower knee. And then at the bottom of the move, you really want to keep that torso stationary and then row. Let's keep going 15 more seconds. Yep, the back stays long. The back stays very long. You want that deep stretch in the hammies the whole time. All right, keep going. We got five seconds to go. Three, two, one, time. Good job. We're going to go back and do our superhero lunge 
into the overhead snatch, all right? So let's start left side this time. So hold on to the dumbbell in your left hand, slightly wider than shoulders, shoulder uh, width with the feet. Let's take it down, dumbbell toward the ground, push up that front foot and explode. Down, push up front foot. Now, keep working on that. It's important that that foot that you're turning toward, the lunging foot, turn it to the outside, right? Don't try to lunge with the foot pointing forward. You really hurt your knee. So when you turn, rotate on your heel, then push up, okay? Let's keep going, 10 more seconds on this guy, right? As always, you wanna make it harder, just go a little bit faster, just make sure your form stays precise, okay? You wanna make it easier, slow down, and reduce the range of motion. Good, time, switch sides, dumbbells in your right hand now, okay? Take a deep breath, let's get tall, and take it down. Rotate down, punch the ground, pop it up nice and strong. Keep going. There's our move. We got the shoulders. We got the glutes. We got the hamstrings. We got the quadriceps. We got a little calf on here. We also got our fast twitch muscle fibers. These are the muscle fibers we kind of lose as we get older. We lose the capacity to access those fast twitch and to express power and speed. Okay? By practicing that, you hold on to that ability. You hold on to that springy ability and then so that if you ever fall, if you need to catch something, you can do it. All right? Keep going. Five seconds. Three, two, one, done. Okay, let's get back to our RDL into the row. Here we go. So get our dumbbells. Get our dumbbells. Let's get tall. Chest is tall. Cheek, feet are shoulder width parallel. Make sure you check that. Okay, let's fold it. Stretch it. Pull, release, and stand. When we fold, the whole movement comes from the hip joints. I'm not rounding at all. I'm actually coming down with my chest, right? I want proud chest the whole way. Chest goes down, back stays long, pull, release, right? The neck and head stay an extension of the spine, so I'm not dropping that over either, okay? A lot going on in this movement. It looks simple, but we want to really refine it as we go. Let's keep going about 20 seconds on this, right? Also, don't make it into a squat. We're not squatting, we're folding. It's a deadlift movement. The major motion is right here at the hips. It's a hinge, okay? Let's keep going. Almost there. Three, two, one, stop. Okay, superhero overhead lunge, last one, okay? Snatch, lunge to snatch, punch the ground. I'm calling it different things every time. We know what we're talking about. So let's go dumbbell in left hand, okay? Slightly widen shoulder width, maybe shoulder width and a half. Take a deep breath, hang it down by your side. Ready, set, take it down, pop it up. There it is, down and down. When we lower this dumbbell, take it down here first, then down to this ground, pop it. Right here, then down, pop. Down here, pop. Down here. Figure out how to organize that rotation of that foot that you're lunging with, okay? That's important. You don't want that knee to be jacked up. Let's keep going. Five seconds on this guy. You Instagram folks, good to see you folks. Hello, hello, hello. Time, good job. Switch to the other, the other side. Get the dumbbell right hand now. Here we go. Check your feet, shoulder width and a half. Hold the dumbbell at your side. Let's take it down. Pop it up. Lower it, down, pop it up. And repeat. Good. These two movements together are really working basically every major muscle group. We got our pushing muscles as we press. We got our pulling muscles on the row, right? So again, this whole idea, oh, we need so long. We need hours to work out. No, you can hit every muscle group with just a couple of exercises, okay? All right, let's keep going. We're almost there. Let's go five more seconds. How about that? Five, four, three, two, one, done. Okay, dumbbells now. Last one, RDL into the row. RDL stands for Romanian deadlift. So when we do this, we are... We're Romanians, okay. So, unlock your legs, fold, row, knees, stand. At the top of the row, hold that movement for a second, hold it, right? Feel that whole back, should feel good, getting those muscles alive, right? Those muscles that we neglect, just get sort of flaccid, and just kind of stretch there when we spend all day sitting at the desk, fretting over, little details of life, right? Here we're turning those muscles on. All right, 
Let's keep going. 15 seconds. Staying strong. Good. 10 more seconds to go. Get that nice contraction through those lats. Feel like a superhero as you pull back. Chest is big. Pow. Right? And stop right there. Good job. Dumbbells to the side. Get a quick drink of water. We are now at 8.30. We have 10 more minutes, ladies and gentlemen. We do some quick uh, arms, maybe just to touch of cardio. And then we'll call it a day. All right. Good work, everybody. Good work, everybody. Okay. So, <coughs> arms. We're going to go biceps, triceps. One move, all right? And then we're going to go into our cardio in between. It's going to be delightful. So, <coughs> get your dumbbells, all right? And here's what we're going to do. Turn the palms forward. Give me two curls right here, full curl, okay? Bottom of the move. Then, fold over. As you fold over, the elbows stay close to your side. You bend. Then we do two skier tricep extensions. Bam. Then stand. Curl twice. Fold as you fold, elbows to the side, and extend. There's our move, biceps and triceps. Efficiency, right? All right, let's keep going. 15 seconds. Good job, everybody. I'm not familiar with these Instagram names, but thank you for being here. Thank you for checking in. Hope you're following along and enjoying yourself. All right, let's keep going. Getting there. There's three, there's two, there's one, and time. Okay, we're gonna jumping jacket. We're gonna jumping jacket, and we're gonna do a build up, okay? As we've done before, easy level, medium level, hard level. 10 seconds at each level. Let's start in three seconds. Three, two, one, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Just reminding the body what this is, what this is all about, the jumping jack. It's a good thing. Good, now go hard, a little faster, a little faster, right? A little faster than we do a jumping jack sprint in five seconds. Jumping jack sprint, how fast can you go? Three, two, one, go, fast as you can. There we go, good. Quick feet off the ground, quick feet off the ground. Expressing that power and that speed again, right? Stick with that same idea. Three, two, one, done. Nice job, okay. Dumbbells again, here we go. Double curl, double extension. This is the rest, right? This is the rest. We're working little muscles in the upper arms, okay? Deep breath or two, ready, set, double curl. Then fold, extend, extend, stand, Curl, and curl, and fold, extend, and extend. Curl, and curl, and extend, and extend. Good, keep going with that. These are antagonistic muscle groups. The biceps, which uh, uh, flex the joint, and then the triceps, which extend it, okay? So working one, and then the other, one, and then the other. It's a really healthy, organic way of working those muscle groups. One of them extends while the other one contracts. All right, three, two, one, done. Dumbbells to the side. Once again, jumping jack sprint. Three levels, all right? So I would say raise, seem to raise everything one level, right? So if, you're, if your easy was at a one level, go to two. If your hard or your medium was at a five, make it a six. And if your hard was at an eight, make it a nine, okay? Here we go, ready, set, go. 10 seconds, just a little faster on your easy, right? Don't protect yourself too much because we only got eight more minutes left to go, right? Good. Three, two, one. Here's your medium. A little faster. Challenge yourself. Nice and loose. Keep it going. Explode off the ground each time. Good. Three, two, one. Here's your sprint. Here we go. Come on. Crazy jump jacks. How much speed you got? Five seconds. And done. Good job. Okay. Last one on. The upper arms, here we go. Let's get tall. So you feel the heart rate gets to, it gets to rest a little bit on this one, but we still get to work, all right? Let's go, here we go. Curl it and curl it. Extend all the way down, then extend it and extend it. Come to stand. Curl, make sure you complete both movements, right? Curl and uncurl. Extend, extend, stand, curl. And curl, fold, extend, extend. Bend the arms, stand. There's our move. Stay with that. There's our last one on this. Keep going nice and strong. 
All right, folks. Everyone's working hard. Six more minutes before we can enjoy our weekend of sitting on the couch and eating bonbons. Three, two, one, time. Okay, dumbbells to the side. Here we go, last one. This is the last hard thing of the day, so we might as well hit it hard, right, okay? Make your 10 a 10, okay? It's only 10 seconds, okay? We're working that explosive, that max speed intensity just in this last 10 seconds, okay? This is Usain Bolt here. Here we go, let's go. So, think about level three, three out of 10. Okay, three out of 10 on this. <coughs> it's like, oh, keep going, good. A little faster, make it a medium. But make your medium a little bit of a challenging medium, right? It's like that light heavyweight thing. Keep going, all right, here it is, here's the sprint. <coughs> here's Usain Bolt, come on now. What do we got? Quick, quick beat, crazy quick, and time, there it is. Good job, grab a drink of water. Take some deep breaths. Nice work. We got five minutes for a cool down. That's pretty good. All right, so I will move. We're gonna take our time on this, okay? Because we got five minutes. Five minutes is a good amount of time. So let me see if I can move this safely. It's okay. All right, if I lose it, it's all right. No, no more. I got enough power now. Okay, so let's go onto our mats, okay? I've got my lovely idyllic setup over here in the sunshine. So we're going to the mat. Let's come onto a lying on the back position. You probably appreciate that. Now again, we're cooling down here. So just take a moment right there to breathe. And don't control the breath. Just do, uh, allow the breath to do what it wants to do. Okay? So. Don't try to deliberately slow it down. Don't try to deliberately breathe anyway. Just let it happen. I got birds singing here, which is kind of a nice little ambiance here. All right. Bring the arms out to the side, but the palms up. So directly out to the side, palms facing toward the sky or the ceiling. And very gently begin oscillating the knees to the right and to the left, very slowly so that you can feel the sacrum, this uh, bony portion in the back of the pelvis that terminates in the tailbone. Feel that portion of your pelvis just rolling along the ground. A little. You got that easy contact there. Again, we're letting the breath kind of go here. Now, gradually expand the range there. To go a little bit further to the right, just a little bit. Don't be aggressive about your rotation. That's a good uh, life lesson. <laughs> rotation is very powerful, so don't do that. Now, as the movement gets a little bit larger, begin oscillating the head in the opposite direction. So as the knees go to the left, your head will go to the right and vice versa. Good, and just gradually come to that point. Now make sure your feet are apart, right? Don't insist that the feet are stacked up and you're doing anything too um, you know, precise on this. It's pretty, we want it to be a pretty easy, almost floppy motion. Good, now stay with your knees one way. Well, let's, let's, let's have everyone do the same thing. Let's go knees to the left and head to the right, okay? Now take the right arm and slide it along the floor up and down with the arm straight. And as you do that, see if you can reach the fingertips a little further, get a little more distance. You're reaching out, fingertips. And you're looking at that hand. Good. Now take that arm and reach it up to the sky so the right arm is vertical. Then reach the fingertips toward the ceilings or the, the sky so that the right shoulder blade comes up off the floor. Then drop that shoulder blade onto the floor and then drop the arm onto the floor. And then repeat that. Bring it up, reach up, shoulder blade comes down, arm comes down. One more time. 
arm goes vertical, reach up, shoulder blade reaches up, and shoulder blade comes down, then arm comes down. Then bring the head and the knees slowly back to the center position. Take a moment right there, feel how the two sides now have a little bit of thickness. This is good, let's go the other direction. Now the knees go to the other side. 